Welcome to this quick video on how to use Fix Your Funnel to instantly notify yourself with an SMS when you have a new SMS conversation lead. This is all about the instant notification. So if you're in a business where it's important to be able to follow up quickly on the lead, and we all know about the time that, the quickness and time that you respond to a new lead, how that is correlated directly with conversion of the lead to an actual customer. So SMS notification is kind of a big deal. And for a while I was kind of frustrated because I didn't know a clear way to be able to do this. And so I had an idea in the shower the other day and I experimented on it. And so that's what this video is going to be about. So it's all about how can you or your sales reps get a SMS notification so that they can be able to quickly respond to a new lead. So. In our situation here, we're looking at a keyword. So we're gonna be promoting a keyword out and a phone number using our SMS conversations. And then we're gonna use that to trigger an SMS notification to our sales rep. So the prospect texts the keyword to the phone number. The tag is applied. The campaign is triggered. The HTTP post is initiated and the SMS notification is received. And since I imagine you want to be able to do this yourself, I'm going to show you how it's done. All right, so here I am, I'm in a conversation. This is a conversation that I use for the Infusionsoft App Store SMS tryout. So the keyword is SMS. Here's the phone number I'm using. Um, I'm not using, this is kind of a beta feature at this time. But this uh, we would record the keyword or whatever the incoming message was to a field. I'm not using that, obviously. And here's my conversation step. So you can see here, um, I'm saving the initial response to this first outbound message to first and last. And when I get the response, I'm tagging this with step one. So I'm asking them for their name, then I'm asking them for their email address. And you can see I'm tagging all along, so I'm applying a tag so I can see their progress through the, the campaign here. And in this final step, after they've replied with their email address, I'm sending off the report. So notice I collect email here, and in step three, I actually initiate the follow-up sequence. And so this tag right here gets applied at the same time that this follow-up sequence gets applied. And that tag right there, I'm using tags because I'm gonna use the new campaign builder, as you already saw, to initiate the outbound text message to my sales representative. So this is gonna be the tag that I'm really gonna be paying attention to. So let's go into a campaign I've built out here. This campaign is relatively interest. I'm going to use the indicate interest and that is one of the goals. And that's one of the goals right here. So I'm using indicate interest. Um, I'm marking it as tag is applied. This is an entry point. When I double click on this. You'll see that I'm utilizing this tag that I applied here in the conversation. So it's the same tag. And that's initiating then the sequence. So go through the sequence. It starts and immediately goes into a process of uh, HTTP post. And so I've set up the HTTP post with an outbound text message. So let's go into that real quick. Okay, here's my out, outgoing post. And you'll see I have first name and I have phone six. Now don't let this phone six throw you off. Um, obviously this message is directed to my sales representative and not to the customer, which you traditionally might do. I've got it set it as immediately. I'm using my principal phone number for a fix your funnel. And I've inserted first name and I inserted phone six. Now you won't find phone six in the drop down box. If you come here, you'll see there's only a phone five. But what I did is I inserted phone five and I changed that five to a six. And I'm gonna show you why right now. In the HTTP post, if you haven't already done these from the new campaign builder, you have to set your name and value pairs. And so by default in here, it has contact ID. You gotta make sure that you change it so it matches this ID because that's what we're looking for on Fix Your Funnel side. I put in phone five, which is the contact or the leads cell phone number that they texted into because we're using phone five as our mobile field. And I inserted their first name and then I inserted the phone number of a sales representative that I want to receive this outbound text. I, this URL is the URL for this outbound text on Fix Your Funnel. And then I went in and I changed the names. So instead of having phone five match up with the contact 
phone five or this is their cell phone number, I made it match up with my sales representative's phone number. So you see how I inserted that there. Now, someone might say, hey, I don't wanna use a cell number. I want to actually use my owner's number and I could come and use the owner's field. So let's say that you reserve phone two or phone one for their cell phone number. Well, I could say if I used phone two, I could insert field phone two here and have it labeled as phone five. That will tell Fix Your Funnel, send the text message to this because phone five is what I've set up as my mobile field inside of Fix Your Funnel settings. Now, I know this is a little bit confusing if this is your first time, but just watch the video a couple times if you need to to be able to get this down. Now, phone five is the number that was texted in by the prospect. Phone two might be my sales representative's cell phone number. And so this setting right here, we have phone six right there, which is the cell number of the contact and the first name is right there. We have ID so that all this communication can be tracked inside of the contacts record in Infusionsoft. And then we have phone five instead of being phone five for the contact record being that of our sales representative based on owner or actually their cell number. So now that I have, th have this all set up, I can click on back to sequence and I'm set to go. Now the beautiful thing about uh, Infusionsoft's new campaign builder is the speed. And one of the things that I really had a challenge with initially with the follow-up sequences that are like our legacy follow-up sequences is the time to kick off the first action. Um, the first email can take 10 to 15 minutes to go out instead of being instant. Um, a post to another server can take 10 to 15 minutes instead of being instant. When, when you say immediate, you might think instant. But with the new campaign builder, they've really solved this. They've really fine-tuned their timing. And so this is going to be received by my sales representative within 60 seconds of the person texting in. So this is really great if you want fast follow-up. So I come back to my campaign, make sure I publish my changes. And now this is good to go. If you were to go to this conversation and text the keyword to that number, which if you do it and you've already done it, it won't kick it off. Now, that's an important point, but that's one of the limitations of the campaign builder. If uh, that entry point has already been initiated on a contact, removing the tag and adding the tag again won't reinitiate it, or even trying to reapply the tag won't reinitiate it. And I'm sure that there's a good reason for that, but this makes it so that the campaign builder sequence can only be started one time by that tag for one contact. So this is really good for a point of entry, not for a repeatable process. So if you're trying to use this for customer support or on a ticket being submitted, probably won't work because it'll only work on the first one. But this is a really great way to have an instant notification via SS SMS when somebody is participating in one of your SMS conversations. To receive in more information on how to do this, give us a call or text us at the number on the screen.